October 8th, Daily Video Bible Reading from the Net Bible, Psalms chapters 123 and 124 from the Old Testament. I look up towards you, the one enthroned in heaven. Look as the eyes of servants look to the hand of their master, as the eyes of a female servant look to the hand of her mistress. So my eyes will look to the Lord, our God, until he shows us favor. Show us favor, O Lord, show us favor. For we have had our fill of humiliation, and then some. We have had our fill of the taunts of the self-assured, of the contempt of the proud. If the Lord had not been on our side, let Israel say this. If the Lord had not been on our side when men attacked us, they would have swallowed us alive when their anger raged against us. The water would have overpowered us. The current would have overwhelmed us. The raging water would have overwhelmed us. The Lord deserves praise, for he did not hand us over as prey to their teeth. We escaped with our lives. Like a bird from a hunter's snare, the snare broke, and we escaped. Our deliverer is the Lord, the creator of heaven and earth. God, I have a favorite quote from um, Oswald Chambers. A preacher from the turn of the century and he says have you been asking God what he is going to do he will never tell you God does not tell you what he is going to do he reveals to you who he is and I think that that fits so perfectly with these two chapters in Psalms of waiting for answers um, of understanding that you will come and rescue them in your own way in those situations you know too often I think it would almost be a little bit humorous maybe at the end of our lives that that you would show us all the things that we didn't see <laughs> probably make us feel really stupid that sometimes when we're going through things and we whine and complain about having to go through those things we don't see all of the things that you have made sure avoid us we don't see this overwhelming crush of all these other things that you have actually stopped from coming into our life. We just see that one little piece that's entered in our life and, and now all hell has broke loose literally in our life because of that one piece. And we feel overwhelmed and we feel uh, depressed and we feel um, that we can't go on and, and we tend to whine about it a lot. Uh, but just as, as Pastor Spurgeon says, it has nothing to do with those specific situations because we, especially as humans, seem to relate to events. I do this, you do this. Um, this happens and then this happens. We relate to specific events. And so we're always trying to figure out what it is you're going to do, what it is that you're doing. Whereas Pastor Spurgeon's totally right. It has nothing to do with those events because there's so much that we don't see. There's so much that you protect us from that we don't even have to deal with here on earth. What we need to simply understand is to seek and find your character in the midst of all of that. To know that you are on our side as we go through that. To know that you will be faithful. To know that you will be consistent. To know that, that you have the power at any given time to stop what is happening in our life and you choose not to because you never ever wish bad for us you only wish good for us and want good for us then there is a reason that those things are currently happening and we need to reflect back to who you are you know I would say most of the time we try and see your actions through our own filters our own human filters and that's not fair to you and, and ironically it's not fair to us either because we don't get to see this full range, this multifaceted God, sovereign God that we that we serve. We keep looking at you through our eyes and that diminishes you. That makes you very small and it puts you inside of a box where you are all knowing, all powerful. So as we go through things, God, good and bad from our perception, because to you, it's exactly what you need to have us go through in our lives, whether we're going through something good or something bad allow us to remove those filters from our lives and stop seeing things through through our way of perceiving things of what we would do or what we wouldn't do but start to see who you truly are i think until we start to get outside of our own box and our own filters and our own way of how we think things should be done 
Once we step outside of that box of our own world, we start to see this amazing, gigantic God that we serve. And we start to see small shimmers of just how sovereign you are. We'll never be able to wrap our mind around how big you truly are. But it's only once we get out of our diminished, constricted world do we start to understand your true power, not only in our lives, but in this world and how you are truly magnified and glorified in all of the things happening around us. They're not just events or situations or people attacking us, but they are all your grace, all your love, all your mercy, all your discipline, all your sovereignty, all wrapped up into wanting what is best for us because of how much you love us. In your son's name I pray, amen.